Hey guys, so I have another update on my Stratocaster project. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not done um, modifying this guitar. So, before I get to the point of the video, I'm still clean and sober. For the grace of God, I'm still on my feet. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, my plans with this Strat now, well... In my previous videos, I showed you how I replaced this pickup going from this one to the black pickup in the neck position. So, I actually have two of those humbuckers from the Greg Bennett guitar. I'm going to switch out the bridge pickup for the black humbucker from the Greg Bennett. And then tomorrow in the mail, I have coming three new tone knobs. They are going to be black metal with a little Allen wrench and set screw. So they're not the kind that have the, me the, um, the metal shell pressed on top of the plastic part which connects to the uh, post. They're going to be solid metal with the set screw to hold it in place. So, And I'm not going to stop there either with this guitar. I plan to get roller string trees, which... I don't know if you can see that clearly, but these don't have any rollers on them. Now, those can kind of get in the way of tuning a guitar. I don't really know how much it gets in the way, but having a roller on there instead of it just being a little round, half round thing that the string fits into, the roller should allow the string to pass through the nut effortlessly. So, it should make tuning it a lot easier. And then aside from that, you turn the hit thing over to the back of the headstock. Yes, I've got an oddball tuner on there because I broke the G-string tuner a few years back. Um, anyway, I plan on getting Gold Grover pegs for this. Gold Grover pegs are about between $60 and $80 per pair. So... In my opinion, you can never go wrong with Golden Grover pegs. I mean, they are the best tuning pegs I've ever used. They came on my dad's Guild SJ30, the acoustic you've seen me play a lot. Um, Alice, the Schechter C1 Elite Diamond Series we've got, that has Grover pegs on it. And um, Lisa, my old Ibanez Concord acoustic that I sold, that had silver Grover pegs, but they were still... Grover pegs and then aside from the pegs maybe in the future I might get a Floyd Rose tremolo with a pair of lockouts for the nut not too sure on that and then the pickups later on eventually I'm going to get hot rail pickups for it and they're going to be dual coil and by dual coil I mean it they're gonna have four wires per pickup that way, two of the wires, when you disconnect them, it shuts off one of the coils, making it a single coil, like a Strat came with. So, I can switch between the humbucker sound or the Strat single coil sound at will. That will make this guitar complete. But for now, until I have the money for the hot rail pickups and the string trees and the pegs and the Floyd Rose and all that, I'm just going to stick with these pickups that I have currently on it. So, this guitar is going to be unlike any Strat anybody has ever seen. It's going to be unique. And maybe someday I might even update the paint job. Meaning, strip all the red off of it, using paint stripper, sandpaper, and all that. And then do a um, hydro dipping. If you've never looked up hydro dipping on YouTube, look it up. In fact, look up hydro dipping an electric guitar. And you'll see what I mean. It's pretty cool. I like the way it looks. And you know, I think it would look pretty awesome on this. Having shades of purple and black and maybe a little bit of gray with um, maybe a hint of yellow in it. Give it a unique look. But um, And then lastly, I plan to switch out the uh, guitar jack plate with a black one. So it, that way it'll match the pick guard. This guitar is a project of mine that I'm planning on um, 
modifying and updating frequently if I can. I want this guitar to be something special. And for a Squire Strat, it's already an awesome playing guitar. It sounds great with the humbuckers I have in it. Now, I'm not too sure about the $13 Fleur brand hot rail pickups that are on Amazon. I haven't tried them yet. I don't know how good they sound. So I'm a little iffy on going in on that or not. So probably going to do some research on YouTube first before I go and get the Fleur brand um, hot rail pickups. First, I might try just one hot rail for the middle pickup. Anyway, yeah, now that this guitar is mine, I plan on making it unique. And I guess you could say this guitar modification goes parallel with my transition. So, look good, feel good, right? Why can't the same apply to my instruments? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Have a good night. God bless you. You are important in this world, and you are loved. Never forget that. See ya.